What's up guys, it's Stan Kosh and today we're taking a look at Gnoll Hack, the roguelike game right here and uh, straight at the look at the menu I see Diablo font right here, I can't recognize it anywhere. So let's go play the classic mode, um, there are not many settings you can get here, so let's go. Yendor or Vendor, Yendor, what's your name? My name is Stan Kosh. Invalid, probably not my name, it will be that. Then we'll do. Should I pick a character, race, role, gender, and al alignment for you? No. I want to pick it myself. So we have archaeologist, barbarian, caveman, healer, knight, monk, priest, rogue, ranger, samurai. I'll go with samurai. Tourist. <laughs> That's so nice. A Valkyrie and the wizard and the random. I'll go with samurai. That sounds really cool. Uh, male samurai. Let's go. Uh, level of game difficulty. Um... I'll go with experienced. I never played this game, but I played roguelikes before, so maybe that will do. So, what do we do? We move around. That's a doggo. Is doggo our friend? What's happening? That wasn't my friend for sure. That's a friendly face right there. Pick up. Let's drop the stash. It's way too heavy. So, that's our inventory. It doesn't have the visual interface. It's kind of text-like. So, we got Katana, Wakizashi, a bow, Yumi... Some arrows, 40. A armor. So we got a purple potion, and I think we're ready to go now. So yeah, the interface itself isn't that cool. It's hard to, to use, but overall, it's pretty cool. Look at that. So we can go... Oh, there we go. The doggo is coming with me. Nice. We can, we can eat. There are gather snake corpse here. Eat it. I don't think it's a good idea to eat a snake corpse, so probably not. We are inside of some dungeon thing. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, fountain. Let's drink. What will happen? Um, yeah, refreshes you, so nothing really crazy. I don't know what does it do. Oh, wait, there was... Oh, another snake. Huh, huh. There you go, stupid snake. I've got one experience point, by the way. So, okay, that's a dead end right here. That's a dead end. I think the map is kind of limited. Oh, look at that. We got the, some weapon there. And there is a way down here as well. So what do we have here? We can eat it again. Let's try to eat Iguana and see what will happen. A iguana corpse stays okay. Legit. Raw meat. Oh, that's nice. So we can actually click on some distant area and go there. If we're not exploring, if like we know what we're doing, we can go straight to the far away. Hello. There you go. Uh, many objects, we don't need those. Dog ate, feeling good. 27 health, by the way. We can see it over there. So the game crashed for me, and uh, am I at level 3 right now? Yeah, I think we're at level 3, so we crashed. That was horrible. Um, I don't know if it will happen to you guys, but it did happen to me. We don't get... The game didn't like that I got the helmet, I guess. Now I don't have it, sadly. The dog have the dead body with it. I don't know why it's carrying it around, but it, it likes it. But yeah, we still continue our journey on minus four floor. Huh? Oh, we broke the door. That's so cool. And I don't see that many things happening around. I don't have that many enemies. I don't have a lot of loot. I'm just wandering around the empty rooms mostly. I don't know why. Oh, we got a huge orc coming up, by the way. Haven't noticed him before. Experience level 2, nice. So what does the orc have? It have iron skull cap, mystic blue and green shield, golden brush, some gold, and I want to take everything. There is no option to take everything, right? Oh, there is. You just pick everything and say, okay, good. So yeah, then let's equip the shield. Why not? If Katana is one-handed, nothing we can do about that. No dual wielding. Game crashed again. We will continue on the phone because maybe, maybe it's Android emulator. I feel that attacking with dual wielding isn't the best idea because my accuracy is suffering right now. It took me forever to kill this mold, so I'm not entirely sure. Let's eat it. Yeah, accuracy is really low in this build. Let's switch back to uh, one weapon. Where is my dog? I think my dog is dead. I don't see it anymore. And I've got the trap as well. The wooden door resists. Oh, look at that. There are double orcs over there. So that one is a dangerous area. Let's try to switch again to the top guy. 
There we go, that's nice. And now we will finish the second off with our katana. It's sleeping. Look how horrible my aiming is. Gosh. Oh, look at that. We found a trader. There are a lot of weapons available for sale, but they're all pretty expensive. What's this? Grabbed. Large Mimic. That thing can take us out, probably. I don't know. Our fight with it doesn't go well, because, like, it doesn't attack us at all. Oh, it does, okay. But we can't really hit it properly as well. Alright, we took it out, and we got level 3. That's so cool. Oh, another fancy village. Let's go take out those guys. Hobgoblin, here I come with my sword attacks. That doesn't hit anyone. We got one down. We got the second one down. Let's see what do they have. A sling, curved sword, sling bullets, iron skull cap. We need that. So we are finally at level 4, and we haven't crashed once. So probably it's the emulator issue. I uh, hope it will be fixed, because I kind of liked it playing on the emulator more. It looks really tiny on the phone and not that comfortable. UI is very complex, guys. It has too many things and it was way easier. Come on. Can we take the goddamn ant away? The ant will kill me now. Look at that. We can't really hit it. We finally made it dead. Nice. Oh, look at that. We got some zombie over here. Exceptional crude dagger. Almost got hit. They're throwing stuff at us. I will hit you in the face with this. Oh my god, there are so many of them. We gotta be careful, guys. I'd rather stay here and take them when they come next to me. Because that will allow us to actually um, train on those fellas, right? Oh, look at that. That zombie is actually taking it like a pro. Dead. Another one. Get over here. This is smart. Will they ever end? Level 4! And we got uh, two more experience points with those guys. Did we kill the other one? There are some rats here. And I think we can handle those. Nice. We destroyed them. That's nice. Who's this? Gnome Queen, but... In reality, our weapons are doing so much better damage right now. This is the really good. Uh, what? 200 gold pieces. Thank you, lady. Oh! Okay, gnomes aren't my friends. I've gotten to the room. And... And yeah. And they want to kill me, I guess. So I even have no idea if I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna fight them. There we go. There we go. Ah! How do you like that, goddamn gnome? You're dead now. And I'm blind again. This is so annoying. Let's go back and we will get another one. Okay, I'm not blind anymore. You bastards, you will pay for what you've done. There you go. They don't do that much damage, to be honest. Oh, they die. This is so sad. Like, the sounds, how they die is really painful. Alright, we are at level 10, and I'm not sure if it's like the checkpoint, or it's the end of the road. We got Pumas at us. But the good thing, that we got good armor, so Pumas can't really take us out. That's the orb in the back that actually blowed up in our face last time. Look at that, a lot of enemies. It seems that we... Oh, look at that guy. I am being surrounded a bit. Let's eat something, so we will get the health regen or something. I don't know. Like, I've got here and I'm being attacked from all the sides. That's... that's weird. I died with 1,897 points because I ate the spoiled fruits. That sounds like me. <laughs> So guys, I actually did a really good run in Gnoll hack and uh, personally, I'm not sure about this game yet. It's so complex, it has so many things, but it has drawbacks as well. So the good things are the gameplay mechanics. It got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff 
in there. I haven't got even half of it while playing for an hour and I'm really into those games, so I know how to do this. So it's very complex. I like it and it takes a while to research. The drawbacks though, that user interface is very unintuitive and uh, hard to control because you got so many buttons everywhere and it's painful to use that because they're all around. Uh, you don't know what to do. I barely figure out how to do the dual wielding and that kind of stuff. So yes, I'm pretty sure I haven't used even half of that because I could somehow upgrade my weapons, do all that stuff. So yeah, I could recommend this game to people who like uh, roguelike games. It's really cool. I'm not sure about the progression though. Like progression seems to be uh, not that much into the game because usually you can kind of do something between the runs. There is no such thing during the run. You can't really grow that much. There are not that many skill points. It's all based on your gear mostly. So it's RNG fully. I prefer to have balance between RNG and character growth. This one have more of a RNG and the gear. So yeah, overall the game is fun. I like the idea. The controls are a bit off. They are not really that comfortable, but I mean, they're not that bad either. So uh, it's average in terms of controls, in terms of user interface, but in terms of idea and gameplay, it's really high. So yeah, it's free. So why the hell not? I advise you guys to try it. So yeah, let me know what you think about this game down below in the comments. While you're going there, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Make sure to check out the video description for LD players who can play it on the PC, so it won't bug out on you and it will be more comfortable because big screen, all that stuff. Uh, more playlists with first impressions, game reviews, that kind of stuff, my other YouTube channel, social discord, social media. Thank you very much for watching, guys. That's about it for now. Stand Kosh out. Have a good one. Bye.